From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. What does this verse mean? How is the kingdom suffering violence? And what exactly does it mean by the violent is taking it by force? Before we dive into the exegesis of this text, it is important for us to do a Bible version comparison just to see how the verse is interpreted in different traditions. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been subject to violence, and violent people have been raiding it. The kingdom of heaven suffers violent assault, and violent men seize it by force as a precious prize. The kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. The kingdom of heaven is treated violently, and the violent claim it. The kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. The kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and forceful people lay hold of it. There are lexical problems that hinder the exegesis of this verse. What makes it quite difficult is the use of the word violence in 12a, beazite, which when used as an active or middle voice means to use force, while a passive voice would mean to be treated forcefully or be oppressed. Similarly, the use of the word violent, beaste, in 12b, in conjunction with the word te, arapazzo, adds to the complexity of this verse. This has led to a variety of interpretations throughout the history of biblical scholarship. There are three major interpretations of this verse that most scholars have come to champion. Both 12a and 12b should be understood as a positive statement about the advance of the kingdom. So the rendering of the New International Version would say, From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing and forceful men lay hold of it. The verb beazite is interpreted as a middle voice, reflecting the dynamic advance of God's rule. The forceful grabbing of the kingdom in 12b is viewed as enthusiastic converts pressing into the kingdom. This approach was popular among Greek patristic sources. This is why Clement of Alexandria, talking about the objects of faith and hope perceived by the mind alone, says, To him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Ask, and it shall be given to you. For the violent that storm the kingdom are not so in disputous speeches, but by continuance in a right life and unceasing prayers are said to take it by force, wiping away the blood left by their previous Sins. Irenaeus, saying that men are possessed of free will and endowed with the faculty of making a choice, approached this verse by saying, On this account did the Lord assert that the kingdom of heaven was the portion of the violent, and he says, The violent take it by force. That is, those who by strength and earnest striving are on the watch to snatch it away on the moment. This view is normally supported by what is said in the book of Luke. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time the kingdom of God is preached and every man presseth into it. The press that they press is the same word used by Matthew, Beazo. In this context however, it would only make sense when used in the middle voice. The active or passive voice would change the meaning of what is being said here. There is a similar use of the word Arpazzo in the book of John, where Jesus fed a multitude of 5,000. It says, When they had seen the miracles that Jesus did, they said, This is of a truth that prophet that should come into the world. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. These verses, among others, build on the notion that the violence and the force are positive statements about the advancement of the kingdom. In the second view, both 12a and 12b should be understood as negative statements about the oppression of the kingdom by its enemies. That is why the New American Standard Version says, The kingdom of heaven has been treated violently, and violent men take it by force. Now if you have the 2011 rendition of the NIV, you will notice that they use a different interpretation from what I mentioned earlier in the first view. It says that the kingdom of heaven has been subjected to violence, and violent people have been raided. 
using it. If you have a copy of the NIV, go to this verse and see which rendering is used. The verb Beazite is interpreted as using a passive voice, reflecting the persecuting activity of opponents upon the kingdom. The Beaste are enemies such as Herod the Great, the religious leaders, and Herod the Tetrarch, who plunder the disciples. This can be depicted in John's vision mentioned in the book of Revelation. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Jesus is understood to refer to the violent opposition encountered by the kingdom of heaven, already seen in the arrest and imprisonment of its herald, and more ominously foreshadowed in the growing official opposition of Jesus himself and his followers who would come after. In the third view, 12a and 12b contrast the forceful advancement of the kingdom with the violent attack upon it. The verb beazite is interpreted as a middle voice in a positive way, but beaste is taken negatively. John's ministry marks the beginning of both these trends, growth and opposition. So the New Living Translation would interpret it as the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing and violent people are attacking it. The noun beastis is rare in Greek literature. In the Greek New Testament, it is what we call the hapox legomenon, but where it occurs, it always has the negative connotation of violence and rapacity. Moreover, the verb arpazo, to lay hold of, a fairly common verb, almost always have the same evil connotations. A rare exception is Acts chapter 8, verse 39. For these reasons, most commentators see a reference to the violent men and then read the verb in the preceding clause as a passive, thus subscribing to the second view. The first view can tend toward triumphalism, not to mention its lexical deficiencies. The third view is attractive because it appears to capture the spirit of chapter 12 verse 28 and the dramatic encroachment of evil by God's rule. It also has some lexical credibility, but the case for taking Beazite positively as an intransitive middle has not been made. There are no clear examples of it in ancient literature. Turner says that this text is best to understand according to to the second view as teaching the difficult truth that John in prison is learning. The kingdom will not immediately judge God's enemies but will itself be oppressed by them for a time until God vindicates himself and his people. Carson, on the other hand, leans to the third view, saying that the verb must be taken as a middle voice, while the noun and the verb of the last clause should be used in their normal evil connotation. Furthermore, the verb in the last two clauses are both in the present tense. Rendering the clauses present in English would give an incorrect syntax. For the original Greek, the syntax sets up the picture of a tremendous, violent struggle being waged as Jesus speaks. Certainly, Jesus considers his ministry to be during a time when the kingdom can be attacked which would have been in the present in his time. This means that despite the statement being read in English, sounds like it would lean to the first view. Scholars like Carson, Hill, and Kimmel believes that this verse talks about the positive forceful advancement of God's kingdom with a negative opposition by God's enemies. Does this view sound practical in the overall message of Jesus' ministry? What do you think about this scripture? How have you interpreted it traditionally? Do you think there's any credence to any any of these three views? Leave your response in the comments below and thank you for watching.